It's Thursday today, am I right? So we're going to do something about it Thursday. This is called Thursday, 6, 29, 45. Sunrise. One jogger shuffles by. His legs grow stronger every morning. He will do something useful today while my hours explode with words. I stare down at the water. Emptiness summoned insomnia. They hit pebbles in my bed and sleep has abandoned me again. So I write a thousand poems. So I snap a thousand pictures. Wing further and further out the window each morning. One tit falls out of my tiger print nightgown as I point and shoot, point and shoot. Point and shoot. Point and shoot at Long Island City. Point and shoot at Jimmy's house. Point and shoot at the Williamsburg Bridge at the East River. Every second is new light. And I am the delegated witness to days that begin despite themselves. Last night I met a guy I probably knew. Reminisced about dope beans, thieves, and poets, shooting galleries, toy shotguns, unmarked cabs. He kissed me goodbye. He said, Buma, if you ever need anything, I'm there. I don't remember what that means, but I remember. I remember the mornings on Third Street when birds carried slingshots and the sun never rose on a waking hour. Nobody slept. We just nodded out on a good day, afraid to go to sleep because we knew we'd wake up sick. 7, 28, 32. I move the table back against the wall. A light flicks off across the way. The man who sees my team each morning goes to work and he will do something useful today as I load another hundred photos into the computer, searching for the one that captured the smell of mustard seeds and hope, heat, sky, today. But perfection awaits me once again. So I write more poems, so I take more pictures, point and shoot, point and shoot, point and shoot at rivers, sunrise, bridges, buildings, until I sweep the pebbles from the bed and leave the witnessing to gods and other babbling fools. Thank you.